Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies questions of SCPM. Every possible question from the module is already done by us. Now we are trying to be doing every possible question from the Board of Studies portal. ICA has made this portal especially for the practice of the students. So we take out the questions from there because these will be closest to the examination questions I think. In case you have any doubt regarding this subject, please you all can message us on our telegram ID that goes by the name of at the rate AJ next. In case you want to be uh, talking in person, then our phone number is 8080324444. And uh, in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, link is there in the description. You all can directly enroll. There's absolutely no need for you all to be calling us for any reason. Your lectures will immediately start at that particular time. Okay, so we are on to chapter number one. Our chapter number one is all about introduction to SCM. So in this question, what we are going to be seeing, let's read it. MS Angel chief management accountant and advisor to the CEO of Avanta Holdings INC is considering value proposition canvas as a tool to respond to the aspects highlighted by the customer profile analysis. You cost trainee recently joined Avanta. Miss Angel asked you to appraise the following statement to pick up the correct statement regarding value proposition map. Okay, now whatever the question is, but this question is all about, you have to pick up the correct thing about value proposition map. Okay, so pain relievers and gain creators counter each other's effects okay now these are pain relievers and gain creators are actually part of uh, value proposition canvas which we will see shortly then second pain relievers and gain creators are one and the same thing okay pain relievers are different from gain creators okay fourth one Either one of the pain relievers or gain creators can be part of value proposition map. Now, fourth one is, ex is fully wrong. Okay, you all can see the value proposition map that uh, pain relievers are also over here. Pain relievers are there on the left hand side. Then gain creators are also there on the left hand side. So both of them are there. Okay, now see this value proposition map or value proposition uh, canvas is all about. Uh, see. Value proposition means what value you have to offer to the customer. Customer wants to be getting some job done, beta. That is there on the extreme right. But then currently, when he is not using your product or service, he is experiencing some pain. To give you a small example, to file your own income tax return, it's a lot of pain here. So then clear tax came up, whereby all your transaction that you all have done, wherever your PAN number is there, all those things are directly filled by them only. Okay. So therefore, through that, they are trying to relieve your pains. Apart from that, as a customer, when you purchase some product or service, you're looking for some gains here for sure. Example, when I try to use the clear tax for filing my dad's return at that time, I'm looking for like, you know, the payments also happen at that particular time only and there is nothing else for me to be done. So therefore, pain relievers are those factors which relieve my pain and gain creators are those things which will help me to get extra gains by uh, purchasing the product or a service okay the left hand side is all about products and services okay the product and service that the customer will offer and in turn he will relieve the pain of the customer and then he'll be uh, giving some gain to the customer so therefore do remember pain relievers and gain creators are two different things although sometimes one feature itself can give you both the comforts it can help you to relieve the pain it can help you in this case like you know to give the gains also uh, to give you say some different example that I have given in the complete course also say by juice uh, kids are not studying so therefore by juice value proposition was we will make the studies a bit interactive okay we will have the videos up and so on it will relieve the pains of the parents because it will make the kids study and there were certain gains also like you know the parents get a parents connect app whereby they can talk with the parents they can try to review how their kids are doing etc etc okay so you have pain relievers and gain creators. Now, if I come back to the question, uh, question was all about that, uh, which out of them are correct. So pain relievers and gain creators counter each other's effects. No, they are two different things. They don't counter each other's effect. Pain relievers and gain creators are one and the same thing. As I explained right now, they are not the same thing. Although one feature might help you to do both, but then these two are two different things. Pain relievers are different from gain creators. That's what I'm trying to be saying. So therefore, obviously, three is the correct one. 
Now fourth, either one of the pain relievers or gain creators can be part of the value proposition map. Of course, both of them are part of value proposition map. So therefore, answer I guess should be three over here. So correct answer should be three. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Now ICAI has given some amount of explanation also. In case you all want, I can read it for you. Pain relievers and gain creators both create value for the consumer in different ways. The difference is that formal, that is pain relievers, specifically addresses the pains in the customer's profile, while later will be addresses the gains. It is okay if either of them addresses pains and gains at the same time. The main goal of these two is to make the customer value creation of your products and services explicit. So ultimately we have to give value to the user. So therefore, as I told, answer is three. That's it. Just as a reminder, all the MCQ modules all the MCQs from the modules are there on this uh, playlist. You all can scan and you all can go through that. Okay, I'll see you all in the next lecture. Take care.